The flip function was originally designed as a quick and dirty way to fix a rotation pattern for a category when you didn't want to change the content of the category. Look at this, uh, look at this classic country category here. The songs that scheduled in the middle of the day are going to come up again the next time also in the middle of the day. And I'd normally want a better spread than that. Now, if I removed a few songs from the category, I'd have better rotation placement. The songs that played midday would next come up early morning or on the overnight show. But if I didn't want to change the number of tracks in the category, I could do this. I could have Music One flip the song that's at the top of the stack each day when it begins the schedule. So, with the next day's schedule, if it happened that Garth Brooks, Good Ride Cowboy, was at the top of this stack, then Music One would flip it, not schedule it until the next time around, it would flip it and start with the Alan Jackson song. Now again, I have to say, I'm not in favor of using the flip command as a general practice. It's better to adjust the number of songs in the category than to use this little trick. But now I'll show you a place where this trick is quite useful. It's summertime, and the city has issued some new drought restrictions about lawn watering and car washing and such. There are two announcements, and they want to run one announcement an hour, 24-7. So, since 2 divides equally into 24, that means that announcement number 1 will schedule in all of the odd hours every day, and announcement number 2 will schedule in all of the even hours every day. But if we tell Music 1 to flip the top card before it starts the log each day, then these two announcements will each be scheduled in the odd hours on one day, the even hours the next day, the odd hours the day after, the even hours the day after, and now people who are commuting to work and listening at the same time every day will not hear the same announcement two days in a row.